Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're checking out Gavis Battle with his new original song, Unlucky. Now, I'm excited to get into this. I hope you are all as well. Let's just hit play in 3, 2, 1, play. Okay, starting off with some sin. Okay. Okay, looks like we're gonna go pretty synth heavy. Nice melody there. The day has come. Nice. When you hear the horns and drums, and now how the world nice. is here for me. I'm trying to see what became of me. All right. How much else can I afford? Am I just a pawn upon the board? Hems tied and the masses cry for more. Or feel it too nice. before I've been here before. Your words cannot hurt me. I'm nice. asking for mercy. I'm lucky like I have been cursed. I can hit back, me no sorcery. I'll fight until I'm worthy. This fate won't be my destiny. Yeah, I don't care. Nice. All right. What they say Ran up me. even more on that guitar. It's so unclear. As well as the layered vocal. I'm so unlucky. Yeah, I now nice. 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 All right, we we got a lot there. I I really like how he's um really leaning into that inflection in the middle of the lyrics. So he'll he'll be in the middle of the word and then he'll kind of twist it or um or re-emphasize uh, his voice. Which is nice. I, I like that he's really leaning into that because uh, it kind of makes this kind of offset uh, aesthetic to the vocal track. And we've also got some layered vocals in there, which are a very good touch. I do think that there's a little bit there's this like very odd, like kind of large room effect on his voice. Like I'm um, not quite reverb, but it just feels very like open, um, which could just be the environment that the vocal tracks were recorded in. But I think it's intentional. I think it's just like a large room effect or something on there. Um, that I don't think, I, I don't think it exactly fits, um, where we are with the instrumentation and the mix because we're leaning a little bit more into that distortion and we've got some subtle reverb on the instrumentation. So we don't have to reinforce that through the vocals. I think we could very easily keep the vocals, um, relatively clean, uh, just maybe some soft reverb on there. Maybe like an echo, a slight echo effect if you want that reverberation and that more of a, that, that more grandiose uh, grandiose if you want that more majestic <laughs> aesthetic to the vocal tracks um grandiose i think that's how you say it but it, it's it's still a really 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 nice aesthetic that we've got around here um i am excited to see if we're able to kind of emphasize and uh, like re-emphasize and um hype up progress uh, this chorus here for the second possibly third time around Fortunes by design. Nice little coral break here. One of those synth rises, multiple actually. By myself over a bridge, crumbling pieces. My tongue is ticking away. Nice. I'm begging you. That's a good vocal lyric. That's that's a really nice harmonization there. Before I, I wasn't too sure about this demeanor he's got here. It's kind of like a little bit too uh kind of congested, but um but it, with the vocal layering, it really really sells the aesthetic. Okay, saved it. Nice. I like the guitar track here, the the 
That one is a little bit weird, but I, I can dig it. That's a good touch for the behind the curtain part to have it kind of muffled like that. That makes sense. I at first I thought it was like suppression, but then I was like, is this? <laughs> I could quite tell if this is like a uh, post recording like effects or if this is like when they're recording like muffled his voice. Um, either way, it's a good touch for this part of the song. I'm hurting. What is behind the curtain? Kings are coming after hmm. says I'm a disaster. Okay. I won't give up so easy. <laughs> they chase me for my laughter. Now the bells are ringing louder. The okay, a little bit jarring, but okay. I don't care okay. They say of me. It's okay. now so clear. Nice. Each and every day there's spread inside this feeling I won't hide. I realize this misfortune's my design. Okay. Okay, that was it. That was unlucky. I got this battle. I, I want to come back, actually. Uh, I believe it was around here. That kind of threw me off a little bit. Where's the crown? Yeah, I don't care what they say of me. It's now so clear. Yeah, so I, I like this part here. He, he's definitely getting more of that projection and... He's still getting that growl across, but it's more impactful. Uh, I, I do want to come actually a little bit before this, I believe. It was um, just kind of right after the behind the curtain part. So this effect here, I think it's like a like a slight megaphone effect, maybe on his voice. Um, it, it's not bad, actually. It, it, it's subtle enough that his voice still comes through and it's just kind of this uh, a subtle effect onto his voice which isn't bad especially after we have that muffled effect but i i think the transition out of this was a little too jarring i won't give up so easy <laughs> they chase me for my laughter now the bells are ringing louder Debbie's the head that wears the crown <laughs> Yeah, like, I, I love how that sounds, but I think we definitely, especially since we've been using, like, those synth rises and everything, I, I think we easily could have used one of those to transition there. Um, But I think it, since they're kind of going, like, it, it, they probably want more of that impact into that a transition there. But I, I think we could definitely do that a slightly smoother because it, it, it the, the mix is just, it feels like it's stitched together. It doesn't feel cohesive there. Um which i mean very well could be what they were going for but i i do think it would just be more aesthetic to the ear if we had uh just like a soft synth rise or something for the transition i do like the lead in though because that, that was like the same vocal track straight into the i don't care that that was like a straight in uh same vocal track there which was nice And I really like how the guitar sounds on this part as well. Like, I gotta say, the guitar sounds a lot better on this part. I don't know how much they changed the tone or anything. Um, it could just be with the other tracks surrounding it. It feels more cohesive uh, than on that solo part. But the guitar sounds a lot better here. I really like, especially when it hits that uh, pitch harmonic there. It was really, really solid. Now so clear, why I'm 
so unlucky. I don't feel nice. That's awesome, right there. Each and every day, this great inside, this feeling I won't hide. I like the break there as well. Right before he says hide, he takes that little break and then he elongates it. That was awesome. And I won't hide, I realize this misfortune's my design. And then we just out. Yeah. yeah, that was beautiful right there. I love that. All right, I love that. That that was great. I I really really enjoyed that. I, I there I had like some nitpicks there and some things that I thought were a little bit off, um, but overall that was an awesome awesome original from Gavis Battle. I I really really enjoyed that. That was really really awesome. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. As always, feel free to recommend more things for me to check out in the comments below. Aside from that, I will see you all next time. Thank you so much.